In today's video, I will be explaining what are present perfect tense and past tense. I will also pinpoint their differences and when and how to use them correctly. I will conclude the video with a quiz to test your understanding of the topic. Welcome, I'm Seema from Edufinite. If you have any queries, you can ask me in the comment section. Without much ado, let's delve into the topic. Today, a topic of discussion is present perfect tense versus past tense. But before we delve into the topic, let's do a quick revision on what are verb tenses. Well, a verb in a sentence expresses a state of being or physical action undertaken by the subject of a sentence. So in a sentence, when a subject undertakes some action or expresses a state of being, that is the verb of that sentence. So the verb expresses the state of being or the action that the subject undertakes. Now, what is verb tense? Verb tenses help us to understand how an action relates to the flow of time. That means when that action has taken place, whether it has taken place some time back or it's taking place now or is it taking place some time later so that flow of time is determined by the verb tenses now for example my brother ate an apple yesterday okay now the next sentence my brother has eaten the apple now you see both mean the same but the way we have chosen the verbs will tell us when the action has taken place. For example, my brother ate the apple yesterday. So the action is ate and it's helping us to understand that this action has already been completed in the past. So this is simple past tense. Next, my brother has eaten the apple. So over here, has eaten is the verb and what is it doing it is telling us about the action that is taking place that means he has already eaten it that means the action of eating is complete but here since this is present perfect tense here the time is undefined it's not necessary to exactly pinpoint the time because this present perfect tense actually tries to tell us something that has already taken place in the past but has some connection with the present so my brother has eaten the apple maybe already if i just say that my brother has eaten the apple already so that will make it more appropriate Next, we come to what is past tense. A simple past tense in a sentence is used to talk about a completed action that started as well as ended in the past. It is also used to indicate a series of past events. So, but when do we use simple past tense? When the action started in the past as well as ended in the past. And again, when a series of action took place, but they have all taken place in the past so that's what simple past tense is all about next let's look into the formation of the verbs in a simple past tense so first we have the subject then we have the regular verb if it's a regular verb it will be in the ed form and if it's an irregular verb in that case we'll have to have the v2 form that means the second form of the verb or the past simple form of the verb so let's look into the examples to understand them. I worked. Now this is a regular verb. So ED verb, I worked. This is past tense. I worked hard. She slept. So here this is the irregular verb. Sleep, slept, slept. So this is the second form of the verb, slept. She slept is in past. Okay. Now next one is the time phrase. We use certain words to specify that the action has taken place in the past so these words can be yesterday a week ago something ago a week ago a month ago a year ago whatever ago last month or last year or last week anything with last when now when is always associated with 
past tense. Whenever you, we use this word when, we have to see that the verb that follows should be only in past tense. Then we have when we specify the time in 2020 or maybe in certain year, when we specify that particular period, in November, on Wednesday. So when we make specific mention of the time, so when it's in past tense, simple past tense, we specify the time that's in the past. That means we specify that the action has been completed totally in the past and has no connection with the present. Next, we move on to present perfect tense. Now, what is present perfect tense? A present perfect tense in a sentence is used to talk about time up to now. So maybe the action has, that is events that have happened in the past, but have a connection to the present. So the event might have had happened in the past, but its results can be, you know, perceived in the present. So the effect is in the present. So the past and present is some way connected. In such cases, we use present perfect tense. Now, what is the formation of the verb? So we have the subject, then we have either have or has. Has is used with third person singular and rest we use have. I, we, you, they. So all this, I have, you have, we have, they have and he, she, it has. So third person singular uses has. Then we have the regular. If we have the regular verb, it will be the ed form because the third form of the verb, that means regular verb is always in the ed form. And if it's an irregular verb, then we take the third form or the past participle form of the verb. So let's look into the sentence. Example, I have worked. I have worked. So we have have with I have. And then the ed form if it's a regular verb. So work, it's a regular verb. So I have worked. Again, she, as I told you, he, she, it, they'll have has. So she has slept. This is the third form of the verb sleep. So she has slept. So this is how past perfect tense is formed. Okay. The next one is the time phrases. Now, the phrases that we usually add to these present perfect tense sentences so as to ascertain that the time period that they are depicting is, you know, telling us about present perfect tense because they won't be able to tell us any particular time period which has already been completed because it has to connect with the present. So we use before, this week, since, for, just, yet, ever, never, already, etc. So these type of words which don't have any concrete time frame. So we use these words for present perfect tense. Now, let's look into the differences. Simple past tense versus present perfect tense. So when do we use them? So simple past tense is used when referring to definite time in the past. So when it's completed in the past, the action has been completed in the past. We saw the Taj Mahal in 2011. So we are being specific about the time period in 2011. So the year has already passed by. So this is simple past tense. Next, I completed my homework last night. As I told you, completed is the second ED regular verb. So naturally it's ED, saw, that's the verb. And it's the second form of the verb, see. And over here in the second sentence, it's completed regular verb, ED verb. And we have used, as I told you, the time phrase. What is it? Last night. Okay, next. Now, present perfect tense is used to refer to indefinite time. There is no definite time frame for present perfect tense. For example, we have seen the Taj Mahal. 
So yes, we have seen the Taj Mahal, but when we are not specifying. So this is indefinite time. I have completed my homework. Yes, my homework is complete. See the difference between the two sentences. In simple past tense, we said we saw the Taj Mahal in 2011. So we have pinpointed that particular period which in the past we have already seen it. Here we, have, we are saying in present perfect tense that we have seen it. But we are not specifying the time period when we have seen it. So we just say we have seen the Taj Mahal. Okay. The next sentence see, I completed my homework last night. So it's completed and done in the past, last night. But here, I've completed my homework. My focus is that I have completed my homework. It's not in the time frame that my homework is complete. That's what I'm trying to say. In the other sentence, I have seen Taj Mahal. That's where I'm focusing. In present perfect tense, we focus in the action, not in the time period. Okay, the next one. Now, simple past tense is also used to refer to finished time. That means... Mona worked in IBM from 2001 to 2010. So what are we doing? This time period that started as well as ended in the past, we are depicting that, we are specifying that, that she started working in 2001 and continued on till 2010. So the whole period that she worked is well in the past. Okay, now, present perfect tense refers to unfinished time we do not have any specific time period for it for example the same sentence if we say we will say mona has worked in ibm since 2001 so over here time period of course it started in the past but it continues to the present that's what present perfect tense is about it starts in the past but it comes back to the present. It links to the present, to the whenever you're talking about it. Okay, the next one is series of finished actions. So when, you know, series of finished actions have been completed in the past, we use simple past tense. For example, first she completed her job, then she freshened up and went out for a walk. So see, what she did, she completed her job, she freshened up and went out for a walk. So these are a series of action which have been already complete in the past. So we use simple past tense to express these type of actions. That means series of finished actions. Next, we use present perfect tense to refer to experience. That means what have you experienced? So if we inquire about someone's experience, we use this present perfect tense. For example, have you seen Pride and Prejudice? So here we don't say, did you see Pride and Prejudice? No, that's wrong. So when you have to inquire about someone's experience, whether the person has experienced it or not, we use present perfect tense. And with you, it's have, since this is a question. So have you seen Pride and Prejudice? Next is repeated action. When some actions are repeated, then we use simple past tense. Of course, it has to be completed in the past. For example, Sally went to the mall every other week for the last two months. So for the last two months, which is already, you know, passed by, Sally went to the mall every other week. Okay. Now, present perfect tense, on the other hand, is used to, you know, focus on the result, not on the time, on the result. I have already seen the movie twice. So we don't say, I saw this movie twice. We don't say that. We don't say it in past tense. What do we say? When we have to focus on the result, when we are trying to say about what the result is, the focus is not in the time, but in the result, then we use present perfect tense. I have already seen this movie twice. That means I've already seen Pride and Prejudice twice. So when you inquire about experience, present perfect tense. When you tell about its result, present perfect tense. Okay. The next one is for finished actions. We use simple past tense. For example, I stayed here for 12 years. That means for 12 years I've stayed here, but I don't stay here anymore. 
that's finished action and we use past tense for it. Whereas in present perfect tense, we use it to refer to unfinished actions. For example, I have stayed here for 12 years. So the difference between these two sentences is when I say I stayed here for 12 years, it doesn't mean 12 years ago. It means for a period of 12 years, I've stayed here and I don't stay here anymore. But when I say I have stayed here for 12 years, it means 12 years ago, I came here and I'm still residing here. So that's the difference. The next one is finished action in someone's life who is no more. So someone who does not exist anymore, that means a person who has died. If we try to, you know, relate to his or her experience in life, then we use simple past tense. For example, her grandfather went to Germany two times. So we are trying to say about maybe some girl whose grandfather has expired, but when he was alive, he had been to Germany twice. So that's what when we refer to people who are dead and we try to, you know, uh, say some finished actions on their behalf, then we use the simple past tense. Okay, next, present perfect tense is used to refer to finished action in someone's life who is alive. So when people are alive, we don't say it in past tense. Their actions are always said in present perfect tense. For example, her father has been to Germany two times. So maybe her father and her grandfather, they went together, but of course her grandfather has expired. So when we refer to it, we have to say her grandfather went to Germany two times. But since her father is still there, so we will say her father has been to Germany two times. Next, we have finished action with no result in present. So when the action is finished, but there is no result, there is no connection with the present. It's totally in the past. We use simple past tense. For example, I lost my umbrella last month. So last month, what happened? I lost my umbrella. And again, what happened? There is no effect in the present because maybe I've bought a new one because I lost it last month. So I've, I had to buy a new one again. So it does not have any effect in my present life. But if it has an effect, I'll have to use present perfect tense. For example, finish action with the result in the present. So let's see how. I've lost my umbrella. So maybe I've just lost my umbrella. And the result is what? If it rains, I'll get wet. I've just lost my umbrella because I've, I've lost my umbrella means it's something that I'm trying to say. I've lost my umbrella. Now it's raining. Now what will I do? I'll get wet. So in this type of situation, when something has happened in the past, but we are experiencing its effect in the present, then we use present perfect tense. Next, we come to testing the understanding. So we have done enough of comparison. Now it's time to test our understanding. The first sentence. Tom has visited his granny. So do you think this sentence is right or is it wrong? What do you think? Yes. What we have to analyze, what do we see here? What is first we have to see the time frame and the verb if they match with each other or not that's what we have to see now here what is the time frame time frame or the time phrase is yesterday that means something in the past and what is the verb over here it's has visited so this is wrong so how do we change the sentence and make it right? We just simply have to omit has and say Tom visited his granny yesterday. That's right. So this is simple past tense. When we use something yesterday, that means it's in the past. So we cannot use present perfect tense verb with it. So Tom visited his granny yesterday. Next, our company's net worth increased 
last year. Yes, here. What is the time phrase? Last year. That means it's in the past. And what is the verb? Increased. Yes, so that's past tense. So, yes, the sentence is right. Next. Did you visit the physiotherapist last Monday? So, what do you think? Is this question correct or is it incorrect? Well, as I told you, let's check the time phrase and the verb and then see whether they match with each other or not. Okay, the time phrase is last Monday and the verbs are did you visit. You as a subject did visit. So, yes, that's what past tense. So, yes, the sentence is correct. Okay, the next one. When have you bought the new car? So, what do you think? Is it right or is it wrong? Well, as I told you, match the terms. They'll tell you. Yes. So, what are the terms? The first one is when and with when. What should you have? Have what? Well, no. Well, when is used with past tense. Here, have bought is present perfect. So, of course, the sentence is wrong. So, what do you have to do? You have to strike out have you bought and instead, what do you have to write? When did you buy the new car? Yes. So, with when, it's always in past tense and it's did. So, when did you buy the new car? Okay, the next sentence. Has the manager seen the new project? Again, let's check whether it's right or wrong. Well, here, what are the verbs? Has seen. And of course, there is no time phrase. So, I guess the sentence is right. Okay, the next one. I have seen the movie last week. Again, time phrase is last week. And the verb have seen does not match with it. It has to be in the past tense. So, the sentence is wrong. Okay, so what do we do? We strike off have seen and instead we use I saw the movie last week. So that's the past tense. See, saw, seen. So we have to use the second form of the verb. Past simple form. So I saw the movie last week is the correct answer. Okay, the next one. Mr. Das has rented this house for five years. Okay, now what do you think? Do you think it's right? Or do you think it's wrong? As I told you, yeah, let's check the time frame. It's four or five years. That means it's not specifying. It's giving us, you know, the starting point. Four or five years. That means started five years ago and it's continuing on. So, what are the verbs? Has rented. Yes, they comply with each other. Yes, the sentence is right. Okay, now this is a present perfect tense sentence. Okay, next. Have they watched the cricket match last night? So, what do you think? Is it correct or incorrect? Well, let's check. Last night, of course, last night means past tense. And the verbs don't seem to match. Have watched, that means present perfect. So, this is wrong. Okay. So, what do we have to do? We have to write, did they watch the cricket match last night? So, there will be no have. It's in the past tense, last night. So, did they watch the cricket match last night? Okay, the next one. Did you help your mom? So, maybe did you help your mom yesterday? What do you think? Did you help your mom? Yes, the verbs do comply. Did help and I guess the sentences. Right, okay, the next one. Have you helped your mom? Maybe yet. So, have you helped your mom? Now, the verbs have and helped. 
Of course, they go with a sentence and the sentence is right. So, I think by now, you have understood the difference between present perfect tense and past tense. So, that's all for today. Hope the lesson was useful. Let me know your thoughts about it in the comment section. I'll be back soon with a new lesson. Till then, take care, stay safe, be happy.